up everybody? Can be it back again. I thought this would be a worse tank. Uh, it's the tier 5 ones that I'm doing without showing you. Uh, the SAR, the Samoa S35, ARL42, which is pretty good. It's got... I don't know. Where is it? This one here. Uh, 106 penetration. And I came here... And it doesn't have the same 47. It has the crappy 75 from it. It's not crappy. It's not as good penetration. It's 110 damage, but it was less accurate. Um, but that's all you get here. You get a 74 millimeter penetration one, and you get 110, or you get the howitzer on it. The howitzer! Um, but this... I thought it would have had a it had a worse engine for being he more heavier, or it wasn't as my uh, that's what it was. The weight was almost double, but you didn't get a double uh, horsepower engine. So I was like, it's going to be even more sluggish than that because that one doesn't move very well. No, this actually moves really well. Surprisingly, I haven't even got the full tracks on it. Uh, the tracks are that much better at twenty eight traverse to thirty, but. 30 traverse isn't necessarily bad, and you're not going that fast, but it's good. This, in this configuration, it's going to at least hit 30 miles per hour. Uh, I've hit 40 going down hills and shit. Uh, I think over the uh, top speed of 40, I've been over it. So, um, As soon as I... I can't get this because I have to get this first. But once I get these two, I'm going to get to this 100 millimeter because it's actually not bad with that. But I've only faced tier six tanks so far, not tier sevens, because of World of Tanks and Wargaming. Think that's good for some reason. But uh, what I didn't notice, and like the AMX forty, the the duck tank, this one's got a good turret, uh, rounded turret. This side will get your turret tumor there. But everywhere, everywhere is sixty millimeters. There might be spots where, you know, like on the top of the tank, but front, sides, rear, front, sides, and rear of the turret, and the hole, 60 millimeters. So, uh, I'm pretty sure that's a weak spot here, but maybe if you come around the corner and you, you hide it, I don't know, but uh, I've, I've liked it so far. Um, I'm going to get rid of the M6 today. And so let's go ahead and sell that. Sell, dismiss, send to barracks, sell the modules. Four, four, three, seven, eight, one. Oh, and uh, this right here is like they had before. It was like they capture the flag and they give you the tier ten tanks. They're doing it again, but. It's domination map. If you guys play War Thunder, uh, where you have three, basically three flags on the map, and you have to go and capture. It's like domination on, I think, domination on uh, Call of Duty, where you, if you have two flags captured, you're capping more than the other team. If you have three, it, you know, exacerbates the uh, the capture points, and you pick one, and then once one's knocked out, you can only choose from the four left. And then you pick this one, and that one's knocked out. You choose from the three left, and so on and so on until you finish the game. So you don't have infinite spawns, but you get tier 10 uh, tanks to do uh, domination mapping. But I don't give a shit about it. So let's go to tech. Americans, because we just got rid of the M6, which I've liked. I, I did like it. Uh, I'm thinking the Jackson, because... Light tanks, I don't feel like fucking deal with light tank matchmaking. And plus the Jackson, I have the Top Gun ready to go. And it's not overweight. So, I think the Jackson's where it's at. I've got the 90 mil in here. I get the 90 mil in here, might as well be able to use it. Actually, it's a tank destroyer version of it. So, is it better than this 90 mil? They're both the... Uh, that one's the AT anti-tank version of the M3 90mm penetration 
slower rate of fire, better accuracy, and better aiming time. So I'd, I'd take the slight decrease in, in uh, rate of fire and get accuracy and, and aim time. So Fuck. Didn't mean to hit that. Uh, Jackson. Fuck it. Spend the money there. Okay. Going with the 90 mil on it. I'm going to put the... There we go. So we went from 420. From 350 to 420. 15%. 20%. And 20%. So... How fast is it, Jackson? Uh, I just don't like that. I like the muzzle brake on it. 370 view range, which is pretty good. Really good, actually. 114 on the hole, so... Get that front, you turn it. Mm. 25 sides and rear turret, 70 so Okay, so it's not, uh, not the best, but I've had worse. Fire extinguisher, small repair kit. There we go. Resupply that. Let me make sure I got that correct. Penetration, yep. Because I don't do premium, because I don't believe in this shit. Yeah, I can fit Binox. Ooh. I can't fit camo. That's fine. As long as Binox are up and I extend my view range, that's perfect. Uh, traverse. Top speed 42. Okay. Now. French. Oof. The French. I have left for the French is the ARL V39. I'm going to take a 75% crew. And. I can't use any of these. I have tier 3. No. Nope, free experience. That's the only free experience I've ever used in a module and I will take it I am not going to deal with a tier 3 and a tier 6 tier 3 gun and tier 6 uh, tank no fucking way 2.3 3.9 better so it's 1.3.5 penetration 1.6 yep taking that I'm using that to go there so what does the ARL V39 look like? Uh eh. We'll see with the top gun. Repair. Repair. Nope. Nope. Extinguisher. Repair kit. There we go. Accept. And I can put Binox. Came on it and toolbox on it. Issue is this the turret tumor quite literally because it's not even a turret or a turreted tank. It's got just a turret tumor set on top of it which means and it's back facing backwards so it just gets destroyed easily getting hit through that. So you have to with how low the gun is you have to get over the top of the hill over the top, and then shoot down into people and then you expose. It's like the uh Tier 6 version of the M3 Lee, basically. And your tank's not very well armored anyway, but the good news. Once I get through that, the AMX AMC is pretty well uh, armored. Well, from the front, but... Alright, let's do it. Let's do the Jackson and then the... ARL V39. That's it? Yeah, that's it. Alright, I'll see you in a minute. To bow. Oh, getting in a little late. Alright. Um, Let's go. say here with the 90 mil I need to go here and uh, use my 90 millimeter 
Hopefully I don't run into the KV2s because with the open top turret they hit me correctly they will destroy the fuck out of me. I don't know if that's new. It looks like it is. Put bushes here too. For people to be able to come here without getting spotted by people back there. Maybe that was an issue and they changed it. God dang it. Hopefully I got that spot damage on that. Okay. Good hit on him. Holy shit, everybody's over here. Shots on him. Oh! Enemy armor is hit. The main gun is damaged. We of course can't it is. No, we can't. Enemy armor Thank is destroyed. Thank you for saving me there. Ah, oh, I got set on fire, you son of a bitches. Down. Somehow my engine was being hurt, but I got sent on fire. I ain't that about a bitch. I tried to reverse back, but this doesn't have good reverse speed, and we get destroyed. What did the KV-85 do? What are you doing? Drive out in the middle of the fucking... We could have used you, you fuckface. Bone Breaker 2. Should have been Bone Breaker 1 and fucking broke some bones over in the corner, jackass. Ah, uh, no shit, Weasel656 from the Wash Clan. And a holy shit team. And a holy good night to us. Oh, holy good night. Your team was really shitty. You will lose this game and not have good XP and credits given to you. And this jackass gets, a, gets rewarded with his bullshit with a kill. Oh, they are capturing. We're going to watch this from the view of KB-85. Is it worth it, KB-85? You can probably one-shot that head, sir. SU-100 will. There's another KB-1S. Oh, SU-100 doesn't get the one-shot. He's probably using maybe an 85, 85 on there. I believe. Oh no, the SU-100 gets a 100 millimeter and a uh, 122 millimeter. I believe. Firefly puts a hit on the KB-85, so he's gonna have to come. Nope. He's backing off. Undoubtedly, there's somebody gonna be flanking him. He decides to avoid the fight, which you know, it's not a big thing because that's what he's been doing all game. Why would he fight now when he didn't fight before? And he's going to be exposing his turret in the back of his tank. Hey, yo, Firefly puts one into him. And then now he stops on the edge. This is. Turns his turret. There you go. Give him your ass. And we capture. Are you. Are you kidding me? He gets rewarded with that. Oh my, I didn't even look at the if they were capturing or not. 
Oh, KV-85. Where is he? Is it Was it worth it? Your two shots of damage? Because I know it was worth it for me. 1,114. Second on the, the whole team, on the whole, everybody, and damage done. Fire for effect on your first game, which isn't bad. We'll expect it with the 90 mil. Let's see, Commander. Fuel tank. Track. Track. 246. What's the average damage? 240. 246. 159. Well, that was a killing blow. 246. So it's 480. 46. No, it's 500. Over 500. So that's less. And then why... 212 on 246 millimeters of damage, which meant had I done an actual damage, he would have been killed faster, and we may maybe would have been able to hold off that corner. I would have been able to put another shot into somebody because I think he set me on fire and killed me, son of a bitch. But 13 experience. Uh, tracks. 30 traverse to 28. Okay. Alright. French tank it is. Oof. Alright, let's see how this goes. To pow. Good luck. Have fun. I've been noticing my countdown start before I even get in the game. So. Do I go there? Or do I come here? I'm going to come here. I'm going to tell everybody I'm going in this corner. I usually go that way. Actually, you know what? Oh, I'm going this way. I've been having a lot of success coming this side. I think the SU 100s having the same idea. I don't wonder why, actually. Let's see. Whoa! Good gun elevation. I forgot to check that on the Jackson. Gun depression is not. Ugh. But gun elevation. I will take that all day, or day. But well, I guess you have to when a tank this low. You have to be able to shoot up. All right. So I got some T twenty eight Crusaders. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, okay. Normally I got the the uh, the I think it's the hundred millimeter. Uh, normally it was inaccurate as all hell in the ARL uh, V forty five or whatever. Bye. All right, it's gone exactly where I wanted it to go each time. Gotten two kills. One was pretty close to the, the top damage on it. That one was just that. I was, usually the AMXs fucking fly off and I can't shoot them. Low profile, son of a bitch. Oh, he's knocking down trees. Oh. Okay. T3485. There we go. 257. Ah, it's a little light. A little light there. It's 300 damage. Oh. Come on, 300 damage bullshit. Come on now. There we go. I'm going to tell him no. Just... 100 millimeter guns. Oh, I got him! So he's bitching about auto loaders.
right, so they've went hill. Hurt. KV1. <laughs> There's some 300 damage. He thinks he's safe. Not today. Oh, maybe for a little while. Oh. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. KB1 bouncing off the side of the turret. Well, fuck. Three shots didn't even go in. Several didn't do my 300 damage. Fuck you. That was the other thing with the 100 millimeter. It wouldn't do the fucking 300 damage. I think I got one 300 damage out of that. Got the high caliber, which for the first game, fuck you. Loader. Engine. And we all con concentrated our fire, too. They came out one by one, so we didn't have a chance to separate our fire. So that worked well. So going to the right side worked really well for me. So there's 257, 325, okay. 264, 307, 135, and 232. So average 300 damage. The lowest is 225. Let's see, which one was the lowest? 264. So that was the lowest, 257. So, yeah. Thanks, Wargaming. 1500. I didn't get as much experience because he probably got spot and damage and shit. And I think if you travel more, the further you get a little more experience for it too. So, this is a it rewards people for moving in the battle instead of camping. Which, yeah, I'll, I'll take that. But I'll take that. 1500 damage when with a high caliber. Oh, that's I'm sorry about that team guys. So a fifteen hundred experience and a thirteen hundred experience game. I will take that all day or day where I don't get mad. That's the way the game should play every time I expect. That's what I expect from myself. Oh man. Sorry about that guys. Alright. That'll be enough for now. I will should have um, several tanks uh, for the next time. I should finish the AT-8 and the 59-16 soon or over the weekend. And I'll have it ready for you for the last game for next week. Um, I might even do the KV-2. might even be ready, but it might be two weeks from now. So I'll see you all in a bit. Peace. This episode brought to you by JavaWhacked.com the official sponsor of the Can Bean Dip YouTube channel.